traditional Goan Christmas sweet. Made in Salegao market. Let's take a look. This one looks very interesting. People today, look at this nice setup with the palm trees. Cheers. <laughs> Great, cheers. Oh my god. Not sure if it's almond. It smells so good. Cool, 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 cool. Mmm, it's going to give me a lot of sugar rush. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Lifetime Travel Mates. Hello, how is it going? My name is Hegyoung and this is Jordi and together we are the Lifetime Travel Mates. And today, what are we doing today? And today we're going to try traditional Goan Christmas sweets. Oh my god. Okay, but last year we already tried yes. traditional Goan Christmas sweets. But this year we have different ones. Well, actually we have old ones that we already tried before and new ones. So let's get to it. Yeah! Ho ho ho! It's Tuesday and we came to the Made in Salegao market. Let's take a look. It's very nice. First sweet of the night, of the evening, what do we have? Okay, so why don't we try something that we haven't tried okay, before yeah, yeah. first. Start. Uh, Surprise me. This one looks very interesting. It's a, it's called rose cookie because it looks like the shape is like a rose. Yeah, actually we have a list. It's our <laughs> cheat list because there are so many with so many new names that we forgot and we don't remember. But some of them we remember. This one is a new one and it's rose cookies rose cookie uh -huh. okay it's made of what as far as i remember it's made of rice they fry the rice with some i don't know probably sugar or something i don't know rice flour yeah rice flour it smells yeah it smells very deep fried it smells, it smells oily it smells oily okay cheers okay let's, let's see i wonder if this is the right way to eat it or you dip it in <laughs> chocolate or something oh chocolate would be great right? like churros wow Okay, let's try. Let's try like this now. Oh no. It's mm. super crunchy. Mm. Mm. Oh no. You're fine. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's very sweet. It's uh, kind of savory, no? It, it's very oily. Not oily, but fry flavor, if you know mm. what I mean. Right? It's really nice. You know mm. what? It's deep fried, but it's very thin. So you have this texture, like a crispy and crunchy. Uh, it's actually really fun to chew as well. Mm. I'm thinking what to match this with, and definitely not beer. It's not a thing you would have with beer. Maybe with some chocolate or tea or maybe coffee. Or even just itself. Yeah. It's like you can just easily eat these like while watching movies or watching TV shows or something. It's kind of addictive as well, kind of savory and sweet at the same time. I really love the texture. Nice. It's kind of addictive. I'm gonna stop now for now. Yeah. Definitely. We have many to try and we need to leave some space in our <laughs> stomachs. Okay. <laughs> Oh 
cleanse, sorry, cleanse my mouth first. <laughs> cleanse your palate. Yeah, I had prepared coffee, but while preparing camera and light and everything, I just had, I just finished all the coffee, so I don't need it now. Yeah, you can. I had just enough try mine if No, you I'm good. Okay. I'm fine. All, all right. right so next, the next dessert. Next one. Oh my god, I can't wait to try this. This is the fruit cake. Oh by looking god. at it, it has a lot of stuff inside. Here you go. Take a look. Yeah, it's dark, but you can see a few colors. I see some green, yeah. some red, maybe cranberry, maybe... Some dried fruits, right? Yeah. Some dried fruits. Some... Uh... Oh my I'm not God. sure if it's almond. It smells so good. It's rich. You can tell it's... it's... Oh you can tell goodness. it's flavorful even from the smell. Okay, cheers. Oh, so fruity and uh, of course, like sweet. Let's go. Smell. Walnut. Oh my god, it's good. This is so good. This is definitely like Christmassy kind of cake. Yeah, yeah. You know, do you feel kind of cinnamon as well? Yeah, right? uh, slightly? some spice. Even it reminds me mm. that uh, glow wine or mold wine. Oh my god. Because it's spiced, I think. This is so good. I think I'm gonna have another piece later. This is so good. It's really nice. The nuts and fruits and all the combinations and so moisture as well. Mm. Not dry at all. Wow. Moisture, no, so moist. So, yeah, so moist. And, it's uh, very nice. Nice. This is also homemade, right? Everything is homemade. Wow. From a local bakery from Saligao. Actually, we went to Saligao local market, which is every Tuesday, just to get these sweets because mm. we didn't want them to get from the, like, the shop. Like, we wanted to get from some, you know, small local bakery. I'm gonna leave this for later. So but you know what? This usually it's a plum cake, as in plum is the only mm. fruit going in. But I think this one is different fruits, which is it's very nice, I have to say. Nice. Okay, so next one is let's try this goes. Goes? Oh, it's, it's ghost, right? No, that's kokade, no? Oh, kokade. Kokade. <laughs> I was confused. I have my cheat paper here. Uh, <laughs> if I'm not wrong, this is kokade. Or kokade. No, I don't think yes. it's kokade. It's made with uh, coconut, I think. Coconut and something yeah, else. Coconut no? and, um, of course, sugar, probably, or jaggery, or... It's kind of thick. It's a bit heavy, no? For this kind of size. You know what? I have a feeling that it's going to give me a lot of sugar rush. Yeah. Okay, let's try. Cheers. <laughs> okay, cheers. Mm. It's nice. Texture, I like it. Oh. It's a bit dry. Nice. But it's very strong coconut flavor. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. You have the similar one, but it's not made with coconut, but how does it call? Dose de grau? Dose de grau. Yeah, it's very similar to, the texture is very similar to dose de grau, but it's less sweet and you feel more coconut. Mm. This is nice. I think this one doesn't have jaggery and the dose de grau have jaggery or something like that. Anyway. I love this. The more you eat, the more you have this oh. coconut flavor retained in your mouth. It's really nice. If you are a fan of coconut, definitely go for this. This is really good and it yeah. might go well, really well, coffee or even like just right. black tea or Maybe. something like that. Or even yogurt. Mm. Nice, yeah. very nice. Nice. <laughs> Next one is halwa. I have no idea why it's so green. Yeah. It's halwa with cashew. Wow, oh, well, I kind of like the color. It's like Christmas tree. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Cheers. Oh, very nutty smell. Hmm. I don't know it's not fruit, wow. not vegetables, or maybe it is. I have no idea. It's not that sweet, not it's savory. It's not sweet at all. We tried halwa before, but the color was more like a yellow and it was more yeah. sweet i think this one probably doesn't have much sugar and mostly it's like not 
flavor. It's nutty, it's kind of creamy, but mm. I cannot say where is this cream coming from. I'm really curious about what it's made of. Anyway, I think it's not my favorite. Might be at the bottom of the list for me. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, it's nice. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds playing, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds playing, carols singing, favorite season. They say, say, Nick, but you got a bit in that bag, yeah. I got racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag, yeah. They say, say, Nick, but you got a bit in that bag, yeah. I got racks, racks in my sack. All right, so we have tried all the new ones. Oh, so, yeah. So uh, let's try uh, something that we have tried last year. But okay. But I have a high hope or high expectation because these are all like homemade uh, sweets. Yeah, actually homemade because last year we went to this big shop, bakery. Some of the sweets were like wrapped in plastic. It looked like they were made a few days before. But these ones are from the Saligo market. <laughs> Everything is homemade, everything looks super fresh. Okay, let's try bebinka. Okay. It's so one of the most popular uh, sweets here in Goa. Bebinka is made with coconut, jaggery, and mainly egg yolk. It's one of the most nice. popular Goan sweets. It's not only a Christmas sweet, it's like an all year sweet. Yeah, you can easily get it even in a supermarket or in a bakery. It's a good souvenir as well. If you come to Goa and you need to bring some sweet for people outside Goa, take bebinka. Cheers. Okay. So let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. Oh, really nice. It's mm. so soft and it melts in your mouth. Yeah. It even the texture is like sweet potato to me. <laughs> sweet potato or like a mashed potato or something like. Only the texture. Mm. Yeah. And even the flavor, a little bit. Yeah, oh. bevinka is quite uh, hard to make. Not not hard, but it takes time because it has all these layers mm. that cannot be made with a machine. So they have to be handmade, and that kind of makes it a bit more costly. Oh, I finished. Oh, yeah, it's nice. To me, it's very Christmas flavor because in back in Spain we have this turron made also with egg yolks mm. and kind of familiar flavor. Yeah. yeah. And next one is going to be another one that we tried before. The coconut gons. Goan gons, is it? Gons? Ah, the white one. Yeah. Okay. The tender coconut. Tender coconut. Sugar coated. Sugar coated. So, sugar bomb. Uh, kind of a <laughs> sweet thing. But we tried this last year and it was maybe our favorite. So good. Yeah, it's so good. Mm. Oh my god. This is so good. I can eat this all day because we love coconut. Yeah, you already yes. know that. Cheers. 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 Oh my god. Mm. Okay, it has these crunchy balls of sugar, but also hope strong coconut flavor. Mm. Oh my god. It's very nice. Very good. The flesh of the coconut is just, I feel like I'm in a heaven right now. <laughs> there are these uh, thin stripes of coconut, but they are all layered up and mm. you know, it's it's very nice. Nice. The combination of sugar and coconut is just, it's a magic. I don't know. Mm. This might be a bit too sweet for some people, really. But you know, it's, it's sweet, true. it's Christmas sweet, so yeah. it's like marzipan or some other sweets oh that are God. a bit too sweet maybe for some people. Yeah, but. For us, it's nice. Oh my god, I feel so high right now. <laughs> so much yeah, sugar. Yeah, a lot of sugar, we're eating. <laughs> maybe next one should be less sugary, less sweet. Um, I see the batika, maybe? Yeah, let's go for batika. Batika or bath. I think we've seen the both names. This one is a... It looks like a... I think it's called pound cake, but it's actually made with semolina. So it's kind yes. of light and not that sweet. I remember this was really good last time when we tried it. Mm. Uh, this one is not that sweet. Nice. Uh, I think this is perfect for some 
coffee or tea. Yeah, of course it's sweet, but it has this texture, kind of like sandy but not too dry. Grainy. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god, I'm missing so many, so much. Mm. It's nice, it's nice, good, good, very good. Yeah. Another one, this one is not that easy to find. You might find Berinka and Dodol in supermarkets, but Batika, I think it's maybe only in bakeries, maybe around Christmas time. We yeah. haven't seen that many outside this season. That's right. right. Yeah. So if you come to Goa and you want to try some special Goan sweet, yeah, go for Batika. Because it's not like there all year around. Because it's a That's different flavor. Of. It's not like this bready cake flavor. Yeah, if you know what I mean. It's nice, very good. Yeah. And next and last one is going yes. to be one of our favorites from last year, if mm -hmm. I recall well. It's a kolkar. Kulkul. Kolkar. Kulkul. Kolkar. Right? or kulkul. Every He's time I pronounce this one, I feel like I'm becoming a pig because in Korean, <laughs> <laughs> the pig sounds like kulkul, kulkul, kulkul. <laughs> These ones are also made with semolina, or... Anyway, I remember quite sweet. Hey, cheers. You skipped. Mm. Nice. Mm. Oh my god. These ones are very addictive. Oh my god. This is finger food. It is bite size, you know, you grab one, mm. put it in your mouth. Mm. Wow. Very addictive. Oh man. Okay. Pretty nice. Nice. And with Kulkul, cool cool, we finished this uh, traditional Goan Christmas sweets tasting. Yes, oh my god, I loved I loved it, I loved it. I think my favorite was the fruit cake. It was yeah. really, yeah. really nice. The fruits and some nuts and yeah. the cinnamon flavor. I feel like it's, wow, the Christmas here, you know? I think last year bite. our favorite was the coconut uh, gones. Yeah. But I think for me the best this year is, yes, the... Fruit oh, cake and also so this good. is a good contender. Rose cookies. Rose cookies. Yeah, yeah. it's a new discovery. It's Thanks really so nice. Nice. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode, please click like and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. And if you want to support more our channel, you can become a member of this YouTube channel. Click join button down below for more details. All right, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. See you next time.